what is the hardest thing to do as it relates to making the knives, telling you guys what we're going to make, and having a production schedule. We got to roll back a little bit and say, what's the difference between a steel like A2? That's a cast steel. And you guys have all seen the pictures of the, that big crucible all full of molten, molten steel and the thing tilts over and the, uh, the molten steel runs out and then they make that big huge slab which is actually called a pig. All right, that's how cast steels are made. All right, And when that crucible is full of molten steel, that is 80,000 pounds of steel. It's being made at one time, 80,000 pounds. So when somebody says, Mike, can we get some of our A2? I can call up and get A2 here um, in three days by the ton. I can get a skid. In fact, our supplier prefers I buy it by the skid. We buy a skid of, of quarter inch, a skid of 3 16ths, a skid of eighth, which they're all thicker than that because they have to be ground down. And done deal. Now, let's switch over to, to powdered metal steel. We're going to say CPM, but it doesn't matter which company makes a, a powdered metal steel. They're all made the same. That's a spray form in an ingot, all right? You, you have these tiny little particles that are all sprayed in there. Then they're solidified, crushed, and heated, and then rolled. That's 1,500 pounds at a time. Not 80,000 pounds, 1,500 pounds. So getting steel in a, in, the, in a powdered metal form, there's nobody sitting with 80 tons of it somewhere. So when we say, we're going to make the following knives, and then somebody says, Mike, when are you going to make these? And I go, as soon as I can. That means that I have ordered the steel. It doesn't mean that I know when it's going to show up. We don't know. Because we're not the only ones that have discovered the CPM steels. If you've noticed, a lot of the, even the production companies are switching over to CPM steels. When we're up against an order from ZT for a CPM steel, and then you have Little Bark River, who do you think's gonna get the steel first? Do you think I'm gonna get mine first? ZT's gonna get theirs first. So we're kind of down the totem poles a ways. So we never know the order that we're gonna get the steel. Um, I got a piece of paper here. This is all the models that we have on order here, between now and June. I have no idea when the steel's coming in for any of these models. It'll be here. And when it shows up, I'll make the knives. But in the meantime, we, you know, DLT has their pre-order up. Get your pre-orders in. When that pre-order light goes out on their page, that means Mike got the steel. As long as that light is open, for you to pre-order, pre-order your butt off because that means Mike doesn't have the steel yet and we can take your order. Once that light goes out, that signals you, hmm, six weeks or so, seven weeks or so from now, we're going to deliver that because that's how long it takes to get from when the steel ships out of New York to New Jersey to here. That's, that's how long it's going to take, six, about six weeks, seven weeks. But as long as that pre-order light is open, I don't have the steel yet. Did I order it? Absolutely. When will it be here? I wish I could tell you, but I can't. It's just that simple.